in medicine, law, business, engineering. These are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. Hey everyone, I'm Nikhil Reddy. Welcome to the channel. I make videos about personal growth, education, and technology. And recently, I've been pondering this disconnect between the sciences and the arts. Why is it that either group tends to discount one another? Artists don't like the work of engineers, and engineers don't seem to like the work of artists. Or at least, it's really hard to relate each group to each other. It's something that I've been thinking about for a while, and in this weird narrative to assign one as morally, ethically, and professionally professionally superior, we have drawn a line between multiple groups of people. At its most general, art is a broad medium for self-expression. It embodies all the creativity and imagination of the human mind, and it's often associated with the stroke of a painter's brush, a sculptor's masterpiece, or a camera's flash. And on the other hand, because it's founded in analysis and logic, engineering can be easily interpreted as the rational and analytical contrast to art. As a result, a question that I've been weighing in my head is whether or not art and engineering can in some way harmoniously intersect. In other words, can an artist be classified as an engineer, and can an engineer be classified as an artist? I want to first begin by pointing you to one definition of art as provided by the Oxford English Dictionary. The expression of human creative skill and imagination typically in a visual form, such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Naturally, engineering has produced some stunningly beautiful objects, and we don't have to look too hard to find something that may fit the bill. For example, the Brooklyn Bridge, the Eiffel Tower, old classic cars, the Boeing 787, and many iconic products produced today. Like artists, engineers leave an aesthetic trail of ideas through rough sketches, complex drawings, models, and mock-ups. The followers of both disciplines are essentially invested in bringing a vision to life, and their works have inspired dreamers for centuries even before there was any distinction between the two. And to illustrate that point, we can go back several hundreds of years back to the Renaissance period. During that time, there was no such thing as architects or engineers, but instead master builders that gave us some extraordinarily beautiful structures. Da Vinci, for example, was the ultimate engineer and artist. He combined the two brilliantly. Yes, he gave us beautiful sculptures and paintings, but he also built extraordinary fortresses and designed biomimicking flying machines. The artistry of engineering is still practiced, and where this is the case, you will find the most success. So that was only one side of the argument that treats art and science as these deeply intertwined and linked disciplines. But now let's look at the totally other side, which says that they should be treated as completely separate. Engineering is very clearly defined by principles in physics, chemistry, economics, and several other esoteric fields of science. So every output of an engineering project or innovation can be tested and certified on the basis of their performance and utility. This is really important. Science and engineering has a final purpose. You're using the thing that you're building for something. Science naturally is about making the unrecognizable recognizable, turning the unfamiliar into the familiar, and seeing a threat of unity behind dissimilar phenomena. Art, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. It's seeing something that one may have seen a hundred times before, but in a completely new light. A new viewing that makes the familiar become unfamiliar. And although it leaves the answers up to interpretations and questions unresolved, its utility is in bestowing upon the viewer the role of completing the work and inviting us to participate in a change of perception. So there we have it. Engineering is driven by some ultimate objective. Technology is about invention, and science is about discovery. But on the other hand, art doesn't really need a purpose, or at least it doesn't have one that can be easily explained in one compact phrase. And that leads us to believe that fine, we should treat these two as completely separate disciplines that can never intersect. But going back to my initial question at the very beginning of the video, I actually think that we might be able to find more similarities and a link that we previously may not have been able to see. Different as they are, art and engineering are two worlds that collide when innovative ideas change the way that people perceive our surroundings. The value in the intersection resides in enriching how the other side thinks. We need to overcome stereotypes in this regard and stop having this romantic, cartoon
cartoonish, deeply exaggerated view of the other side. Scientists equate art with creation, beauty, inspiration, and sometimes with struggle. On the other hand, artists equate science and engineering with cold logic and singular discovery. They fail to consider the deeply human factors and passions that animate the biggest engineering projects in the world. I think there is tremendous value if we go to all engineers and ask them to think and train and feel more like artists, and similarly if we go to artists and ask them to do the very same with the likes of engineers. We find that history's most celebrated icons are often the ultimate combination of artists and scientists, and the combination of the two has produced some incredible buildings, sculptures, paintings, projects, and just in general, beautiful things that need to be admired and appreciated. And I think that's only the case when you have this wondrous intersection between the art and science and engineering that underlies it all. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nikhil. I make videos like this all the time. I hope this video in some way convinced you that there is a link between the arts and the sciences and the intersection is a pretty beautiful thing. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'm so appreciative of your viewership. If you like this video, let me know down below with a like or a comment, maybe a subscription to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I am also very active or you can go to my storefront, grab a journal, a sweatshirt, a hat or anything if that's what you like, you can also reach out to me over email very, very easily. Last but certainly not least, I will see you guys in the next one.